Namaste and welcome to Vishwas News. My name is Devika and I am your trainer, friend and guide. Today I bring to you the fascinating but scary world of deep fakes and AI. But before we delve deeper into the subject, let's see if you can spot the real image of the two pictures coming on your screen now. Well, let me guide you that none of the images shown here are real, but are created using a deep fake technology. Let's demystify the magic behind it. Just take a look at this comparison in the pictures shared. On the left, we have the original footage and on the right, the deep fake versions. It's mind-boggling how accurately the facial expressions can be replicated. This technology can convincingly replace a person's likeness in an existing video or even create entirely new content that appears shockingly real. The term deepfake is derived from the words deep learning and fake. These are created using advanced algorithms that analyze and learn from vast amounts of data thousands of images and hours of audio. These algorithms then mimic the target person's facial expressions, voice and mannerisms seamlessly, blending them into the manipulated video. Creating a deep fake involves several stages from data collection to training the AI model. It's an intricate dance of technology and creativity that has captured the imagination of many over the years. The first step begins with data collection, where a vast data set of target individuals, images and videos is gathered. Next, AI models, often based on neural networks like JANS, are trained using this data. These models learn intricate facial features, expressions and speech patterns. During training, the model refines its understanding, gradually gaining the ability to mimic the subject convincingly. The result is a digital puppet capable of reproducing facial movements, voice and gestures. But here is the thing, as exciting as deepfake technology is, the algorithm pose serious ethical concerns, as they can be misused for misinformation, fake news, child abuse, identity theft or cyber crimes. A man in Kerala lost Rs 40,000 after falling prey to an artificial intelligence-based scam. According to the Kerala police, it was a deep fake scam involving someone whom the man knew. Radhakrishnan received a video call on WhatsApp from an unknown number. When he received the call, the person on the other side looked like one of his former colleagues. In Andhra Pradesh, who asked for Rs 40,000 from Radhakrishnan via Google Pay to help a relative in the hospital. When another demand for Rs 30,000 was made, Radhakrishnan got suspicious and filed a complaint with the cyber police. Deepfake scams can also target your children. Imagine computer-generated children's voices, so realistic they fool their own parents. Masks created with photos from social media can penetrate a system protected by Face ID. Cloning a person's voice is also increasingly easy. Once a scammer downloads a short sample from an audio clip from someone's social media or voicemail message, it can be as short as 30 seconds and they can use AI voice synthesizing tools readily available online to create the content they need. Public social media accounts make it easy to figure out who a person's relatives and friends are not to mention where they live and work and other vital information. The proliferation of scam tech has alarmed the highest levels of the financial industry. Artificial intelligence in particular is being used to turbocharge fraud, US Federal Trade Commissioner Chair Lena Khan warned in June. In the US alone, consumers lost almost $8.8 .8 billion last year. That was up 44% from 2021 despite record investments and detection and prevention. The AI explosion offers not only new tools, but also the potential for life-changing financial loss. Some of the new techniques go beyond what current off-the-shelf technology can do. Globally, cybercrime costs, including scams, are set to hit $8 trillion this year. India's NCRB data showed that 52,974 cases of cybercrimes were registered in 2021. Now, all this sounds like the stuff of science fiction. 
But these techniques are already available to criminals preying on everyday consumers. Hence, it is necessary to fight back by educating consumers about the increasing risks of deep fakes. And the role of AI literacy turns out to be prominent here. It is crucial that we navigate this technology with responsible journalism, learn the right techniques of fact-checking, and build a strong sense of AI ethics for a better world tomorrow, for you and me.